welcome to the start of another studio vlog. Let's jump straight into it. My pins have just arrived. If you've been watching for a few weeks, you'll know that these pins, I've been waiting for these for a couple of months. Um, I'm slightly worried in that the tracking said there was two boxes. Only one has arrived. I think half of my pins are not gonna be here. Um, but I don't need to stress about it. Like, it's fine. We'll sort it if that's the case. Um, so I think I'm just going to start and open these up. Let's just start the vlog like that and then I'll get into chatting to you about what we're doing today. There's definitely some things missing. Um, I need to go and check that out, but organise everything. So I've had a little restock of a couple of designs. I've had a restock of the Dare to Dream Big. I've had a restock of my Magical Things Can Happen, which is really popular, but I've been out of stock for a while. We have a hug in a mug and the ice skates. Those are like my top four selling pins that have been out of stock for a while. So I won't get those out right now because you know what they look like, but that's those. And then we have the new things. So let's start with this one. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love it. Let's give it a little polish. Oh, she's so pretty. So I don't know if you can see, but all the trunk is screen printed. So yeah, that is super special. I absolutely love it. It came out so beautifully. So I've got quite a few of those. And then, this is my Christmas collection. We have this year's Christmas decoration. <laughs> oh, it is absolutely stunning. Um, it obviously matches the other two in terms of colour and there's some glitter in there so I need to hang the ribbon on there and this year I've done a matching enamel pin I am so excited about them <laughs> um, but yeah when the full Christmas collection is here and the illustration that goes with it and ties it all together in the Christmas card um, that'll be here next week and I will show you everything like because I really want to I very much design this collection as a collection um and yes if you want to just get a decoration that's fine but my hope is that you see it and you you know you want the full thing um so look out for I think that'll be next week's vlog um where I explain it more but hopefully you like those um but the thing I'm most excited about right now is this elephant so let's get it on a backing card to see how it looks I think I go lilac Let's go lilac. It's one of my biggest pins. <laughs> I'm so happy with it. I don't have many like character prints, uh, pins, so it's really special. And I actually have a matching sticker coming. Um, I thought it would come today, but I don't know if it will. Uh, if it does, obviously I'll show you on the vlog, but yeah, she's so beautiful. So um, what I'm gonna do is, um, hang on, let me move over to my desk and I'll explain what's happening today. Right, so it's actually been about an hour since that last clip, but I really need to get to my pop-up shop that I mentioned in my last vlog. Um, I was literally waiting on those pins to be able to take everything, so I've got everything ready. It's all packaged up. I have done the new pins, put barcodes on them and the decoration. So it's time to head to Sheffield. So I'm not going to take the camera because I'm going on my own and I'm trying to orchestrate everything. So I'll film a few clips on my phone. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go and get everything set up in the pop-up shop and then I will be back to get lots of work done. So I'll go and do that and I'll be back with you. Who's emailing me? 
Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go to Sheffield. I'll be back in a few hours with an update on where I'm at and I'll tell you what I'm working on. It's so busy. I'm all stressed. I just need a coffee and um, right, I'll be back soon. Hello, I am back. It's now 10 past four. Um, so it's taken me a good few hours. It was an hour there and an hour back. Um, there was nothing really to film. I just dropped off my box of things. They weren't ready to put it out yet. So they said they would put it out and kind of let me know when it was ready. So what I think I'll do is maybe next week um, I'll drive over um, and I will kind of take you with me to see how it looks when it's all set up. But there was just no point to film today. <laughs> um, but that's such a huge kind of weight off my shoulders now that that's done. Um, it took me ages to get everything ready for it and I just hope it all looks really nice. The products that are in the shop are just beautiful and I just hope mine just sort of fit in with everybody's um, in terms of quality and things. So I think they do. I'm really proud of everything. Um, so I am now back and I have a couple of orders to do. I have two orders to do and one wholesale order. I got another wholesale order, uh, which is very, very, very exciting. And actually, um, I, I had to order in products. Um, so this, I don't know if this will interest you, but I have all my stationery on fair, the wholesale, um, but I don't necessarily have it all in stock. So um, somebody's literally placed an order for 20 notepads. I don't have 20 notepads in stock of that design. So once they placed the order, I then ordered in the stock. It's just arrived two days later, which is really good. And I can then package that up and send it on. So the downside is you don't get paid from the wholesale orders until you ship it. Um, so you, like I've had to fund buying the notepads. Does that make sense before I get the money? But um, it's just something to bear in mind, like, I know some people have been put off doing wholesale because they can't afford to have all the stock in it all, the t at, all at once. For me, with like stationery and things, I I'm, I don't have that in stock. So if someone places an order, then I will order it in because um, the turnaround's fast. So I'm going to do those orders and then I need to finish my Halloween Patreon box because it's the 29th of September. Tomorrow is the last day of the month. So I want to get the digital version of the box out. Um, I'll need to order some stuff for the Patreon box, but I'll be able to send it out next week. So, um, yeah, I'm going to do the orders and then I'm going to work on the Halloween box.
guys. So it's now Monday and um, yeah, things are just a little bit um, hectic at the minute um, and I'm struggling to film but also I'm not feeling too great at the minute, um, which I won't really go into because doctors don't really know what it is. Um, but I'm hoping to have some answers soon, but I'm just getting really dizzy and um, like suffering with a really bad pain in my head. I don't even want to call it a headache because it's not a headache, like I've had a headache before, but this is an actual pain in my head. So I'm hoping I get some answers soon, but if it's really affecting work, like I only was able to work two days last week and yeah. So I didn't know what to do for the rest of this vlog because I can't, I don't have the energy, like I can't um, do a really fun, exciting vlog. This was gonna be like another vlog now. I, I was planned to have like a full vlog, but I don't have enough footage. So I'm gonna just make one uber big vlog. Um, and I wanted to open my Christmas collection because it's arriving today, all of my prints and everything. Um, it's due out for delivery now, but I do need to leave and go home because I've got a plumber coming to my house. <laughs> so I'll do that tomorrow and that'll be like the last thing I do on this vlog. But before I go, I wanted to just open some stickers with you. Um, so I've had some stickers done. One is a Patreon sticker. Um, it's only a little one. Holographic sticker. And then I got these stickers to go along with the pin that I opened yesterday. Oh, it came out so beautifully. So this is the sticker and as you can see, her trunk has some little like holographic bits on it. Hopefully you can see that. Um, so yeah, I can add that to my kind of lineup of everything. Um, but yeah, I've been working on stationery, obviously all those new pins and then the Christmas collection. So what I'll do is I'm going to go. I know I haven't really spoken to you today, um, but I'll be back tomorrow and I will show you everything that's coming in the product like shop update that's coming at the end of this week. Um, hopefully I feel a bit better tomorrow. <laughs> I'm just, I've just felt a bit rubbish for about two weeks and I hate it because I I'm, I feel like I've just been ill forever. <laughs> I had a really bad back and that's now better and I'm now dealing with this and it's just one thing after the other. Um, really affecting me mentally, trying to stay positive <laughs> but all in all I'm just a little bit drained. So um, I just need this product, the shop update to go out, I need it to go well, fingers crossed. Um, yeah, but I also want to say that I know I mentioned when I opened my pins that one of the boxes was missing and I never explained what happened. So um, when I looked on the tracking, it said partial delivery. So they knew that only one box had been delivered, which put my mind at ease. Um, and the second box has been delivered today. So that's good. I have everything. Um, but yeah, right, I'm going to go. I'll see you tomorrow. I'll show you everything. I'll unbox the Christmas collection because I have worked in collaboration with a brand that I want to talk about to make it happen. Um, but yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Hello, it's the next day. And I feel a bit better today. I feel, I feel all right. For the first time in about two weeks, I've woken up without a pounding headache. Um, I don't feel 100%. I've still had to take some of my pills, but um, today feels like it's gonna be a good day. So um, that's good. Anyway, um, I was waiting for a parcel to be delivered it never arrived. I can't, I can't remember what I spoke to you about. Like my brain is just in a fog. Um, but my package has arrived. So what I want to do is say a big thank you to Instant Print. Now Instant Print aren't sponsoring this video. I'm not being paid to talk about this. All they've asked is if I want to try out their services and um, if I wanted to print my Christmas collection with them and see how it works and, and, and give my honest opinion. So that's what I'm going to do. Now I've used instant print before. Um, I get quite a bit of stuff from instant print. My colouring books for the past three years, three years have <laughs> been with instant print. Um, and my most recent things that I've had with them are my foiled art prints, you know, my, uh, these ones. They're instant print as well. 
So I have used them before um, and I said them to them, I've used you before, are you still happy for me to do this? And they were like, yeah, we love that. Um, so the box has arrived, it's here. Now I'm gonna chat to you about this Christmas collection because I mentioned at the start of the video that I unboxed the wreath and the pin, but I didn't really explain. Now, some of you will know exactly what's happening because on Patreon, I've talked about this for a couple of weeks and on Instagram Live, I kind of teased at it. Um, so, when I was coming up with the Christmas collection this year, I wasn't sure of what I wanted to do and actually the wreath design came first and I thought, why, there's so many wreath designs out there and there will be so many wreath designs out there. Why would anybody want to get mine? And that's kind of a question I ask myself a lot with all my products. It's like, it's not just a case of just making something pretty. It's like, but why would somebody choose mine over, you know, all the beautiful things that are out there? And for me, it's telling a story. And maybe that's the animator in me. The animation background is always tell a story and have a story. Um, and I have had this dream for a very long time um i've talked about it for a very long time and that is that i would love to one day open a christmas shop <laughs> it seems a bit crazy and it's probably such a bad business idea but dream with me i would love to open a year round shop that is just christmas <laughs> and it'll sell it it will at least talking like it's going to happen it would sell other bits because i love stationery and i love trinkets and i love all the little bits but it will have that Christmas feel to it. And I've been to a few Christmas shops. Like somebody messaged me and said, oh, there's a year round Christmas shop. You should go look at it. And I was so disappointed because yes, it had Christmas decorations, but it did not feel like Christmas when I walked in. And I know what this shop's going to look like. It's double fronted and it has a, a, a front door that I would make it lilac. And I just, I knew how, I know how the shop's gonna look. I just know it. And um, one day it might happen, but for now it's in my head. And I thought, wouldn't it be great to put it on paper and have it as, as a, a thing this year. And then maybe in 20 years time, when I am old, <laughs> uh, older, and um, you know, Will I have grandkids? Probably not. Maybe in 30 years, I might have a couple of grandkids running about and I'm in my little Christmas shop. Um, we can look back and say, oh, she dreamed of this 30 years ago. Um, so I have illustrated my shop and it's called Emily's. Um, it's had loads of names over the years. I've called it different things. But there's something I like about saying, people saying like, should we go to Emily's? I just like that. I like that the idea that it's you come into my my special place. <laughs> is that weird? I don't know. Anyway, I illustrated it, and um, the wreath design that is the Christmas decoration. I put it on the front door of the shop um, because that's it would have the most beautiful wreath on the on the door. And yeah, I just. I, I kind of wanted it all to be tied together so it's not just a wreath decoration you, you're getting like a little token of this dream of mine um so when i illustrated this i came up with like a little scenario a little story to kind of set the scene um and i put it on patreon and, and people loved it and i thought right i really need to kind of this needs to be the story of it um, so I put together a little video with a bit of sound, it's not the best. <laughs> I put it on Instagram and people loved it and it was so nice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert it now, about 30 seconds long. Please enjoy and I'll be back in one second. So hopefully that sets the scene of this warm, fun place 
and smells amazing and sounds amazing and it's just so cozy um, and that is Emily's so welcome <laughs> so hopefully now when you see the decoration and you see the pin um, it's not just a wreath it's much more than a wreath to me um, so we're gonna open up the rest of the products that are coming um, I've got a print I have a Christmas card um, and I'm gonna open it and it's thanks to instant print for making this possible um, so yeah let's go and open it let's go and see how it looks okay my battery just died on my camera so that's charging and you now on my phone so I'm gonna try and do this Right, let's start with this. So I've had some postcards made um, and these will go in orders. These aren't gonna be to buy. The story that I showed you like on the video, I'm conscious that there'll be people that maybe order from the shop and don't know that story. So I thought, why don't I put that on a postcard and then even if somebody just orders a wreath, they can read that and understand it if that makes sense so if you place an order for anything in the christmas collection you'll get one of these postcards um in there so these are a6 postcards so i went with a6 postcards with 250 gsm silk they are much thinner than what i normally get for postcards so i'm glad I'm, i actually like it for um this as like a freebie it's really soft so we have the illustration on one side and then the story that you've just read like literally as uh, on the postcard so yeah that will go in everybody's orders that one as well top five have got like marks on them just where they've been like pressed together um so i wouldn't be able to use those um Actually, no, it's more than five. It's maybe 10 of them have got um, slight, like, ink. Let's see if I can show you the marks going across them. It's just where the plastic's been, but um, just gonna let you know, let you know what the quality's like. But the actual print on them is absolutely stunning. And I have more than enough there. Like I said, I ordered 300 <laughs> because my aim is to get 100 sales in the next three months. Um, if they all go wonderful um but yeah so i've got those and then on to the actual products so now these are business cards i'm not using them as business cards i'm going to be using them as pin backings so of these i've ordered 250 oh and i like this it comes with some little plastic holders you know if you were taking them out and about I will keep those for future events. They look like my normal backing cards, right? <laughs> um, however, that's not the side we're gonna use. Um, the side we're gonna use is the other side where I've had the front door put on there. So my thought is, let me go and grab one of the pins. Now this is where we find out if my measuring skills are correct in that I've lined up the size of the wreath <laughs> to the door properly oh it came out so perfect the front door of my shop <laughs> how adorable is that i'm sorry i normally film on my camera so this might not be the best so we have the postcard which kind of has the wreath on it and then the actual door of the shop is the wreath's backing card <laughs> so yeah i've got plenty of um Backing cards there for all of my pins. Okay, now we're on to some exciting things. In here, my brand new Christmas card. Now, I will say, after first look at this, the colouring isn't great. So I'm wondering what's happened there because this is how it should be with the backing card. And the Christmas card has come out slightly darker. Can you see? You'd think the same printing company would print the same colours. You know, it looks like two different print companies. They've got the same file. So the actual card is beautiful. The colour just doesn't seem right. But look at the foiling on it. How nice is that? 
so i do love it i think it's a beautiful card and if it was on its own it's it, you know it's great but the fact that it makes up a collection with other things and the color's not you know perfect worries me slightly so i'm only saying that because it's in the fourth thing and the color's perfect on that one it's just this that the color's not right on so maybe i need to get in touch with them um let's see what the process is there to kind of get that corrected um but yeah the actual cards are beautiful so yeah so there's the greetings card and then the final thing which i'm the most excited about and the colors are lovely on it which i'm really really happy about is the art print now when i do art prints it's hit and miss <laughs> some people love them they're not usually my best seller which is quite um as an illustrator you want your illustrations to be your best seller um but i understand that my art my art isn't for everybody's homes and things um so what i've done with this is i've made an art print that i think would look beautiful in your home um but it's very limited edition as in there's just 50 of them and i'm only going to make 50 of them and my hope is in 30 years time when i've got my little shop <laughs> you can come by and say i have number 20 something or i have number you know um so oh my god it's stunning and that is the art print. <laughs> oh, isn't it gorgeous? Look at it with the foiling. So let me tell you what paper this is on because it's absolutely stunning. It's on, I think it's 350 GSM, like soft to touch. Absolutely stunning. And like I said, there's only 50 available. 50, that's it. I, I know they might not sell great. And I thought by having 50 and that's all we're gonna do then you know so here it is all together we have the enamel pin the christmas decoration that will come in this lovely little velvet bag we have the postcard that will go in everybody's order we have the new limited edition print like i said there's only 50 available i will be signing each one with a number at the bottom um and then we have the greetings card, which do you know what actually looks really lovely. Um, the colour is slightly different, like it's not much at all. Um, I don't know if it warrants another print, like I think it's lovely. Um, I actually think it's probably me maybe with the file. I mean, I am going to go and check, um, but I, the actual print of it is beautiful. Um, but yeah, how stunning is everything like i can't get over the, the foiling on it it looks so beautiful so it turns out it was my fault with the uh, printing color slight difference it was in the proof i should have seen it it's my fault i just want to say the instant print have been wonderful the the process was wonderful like from ordering um because we're doing foil it's kind of uh, scares me doing foil because i don't know what i'm doing <laughs> but they're so helpful um and yeah i'm i they're not paying me to say this i just like them for foiling so go and check them out if it's something you want to do um if you're struggling and you don't know how to set up your file like they'll help you just go and check them out and thank you so much to instant print for sending me all the bits um i've gone live on instagram and showed everybody and i'm just i'm so excited and now that i've like got all of it together and i've looked at it even the card like i'm just thrilled with it and yeah so i am going to sign off here because i'm going to start up another vlog um because i've got so much to do i'm going to just jump straight into another vlog so please subscribe if you haven't already thank you so much for watching the last vlog and commenting on it like the amount of comments I got on there was insane and it definitely helped boost my my YouTube. YouTube must have just seen that and shared it with people. So thank you so, so much. I hope you like the look of everything. Like I say, I've just shared everything over on Instagram and like seeing the um, decorations all together, like all three of them, is just getting me really excited. So everything is going on sale on Sunday. I've got new stationery, new everything, but I'm going to share that in the next vlog. 
so yeah thanks for watching thanks for sticking with me while I'm not feeling 100% um but yeah can't wait can't wait for the next few months and the lead up to Christmas it's going to be a really exciting time and I'm going to document as much as I can on here so yeah thank you so much for watching let me know what you think of everything um pins <laughs> um but yeah I'll see you very soon bye